All right, guys, how to get a quick drink run. We're gonna go into my a college apartment room and continue editing the rest of the video. So let's go ahead over there. Here we go, as you guys can see, this is my little setup I got going on. Green screen, portable green screen. Microphone, camera, and look, there I am. What is going on YouTube? Hannah Beck making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we will be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP and the current coin market cap. As you guys know, we left off a couple of days ago. We've been discussing XRP right now in regards to the massive breakout that could be coming to, the, um, to XRP in the next couple of days, if not hours. You'll notice we've been tracking and tracing this ascending triangle for the past couple of days, now three to four days and you notice we're getting very, very, very close to that point of contact. Now, the thing that I want to discuss, as you guys saw in today's title, is in regards to the fact that XRP is about to do something it has not yet done in years, or it hasn't done in years, like three years to be exact. So we're going to be focusing in on exactly that in regards to this resistance band up here and where we currently are in regards to price that I want to compare to three years ago. It's going to be some pretty interesting knowledge, and I highly recommend watching it fully through. This way, you know the best opportunity for where exactly XRP is going to go. We're also going to be discussing Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Litecoin in regards to Litecoin's small ascending triangle breakout because this does or descending triangle breakout because this does have some importance with uh, potentially XRP and some other altcoins. We're also going to be looking at the current coin market cap and wrapping things up with some charting and things like that. Lastly, guys, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. Remember, we do a giveaway on the channel every single Friday, which is literally in four days or three days. So all you have to do is leave a comment down below and make sure you are subscribed you know click the subscribe button this way I know you are uh wanting to be involved in the giveaway and let's jump into today's episode so guys, I want to start off really quick on the current coin market cap, then we'll jump into the other technical analysis and chartings. You'll notice out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies, for the most part, things are in green, obviously. Everything is pretty much in green. And you'll notice we're only up by only a couple of percentage gains. You can see here, um, da, 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 0.68, 1.2, 2.4, 4.6. .4, pretty interesting though that Stellar Lumens, the coin that I literally just deleted yesterday in yesterday's video, is now up 16%, which is quite wild. Uh, that's actually mind-blowing because I wasn't going to do it in today's episode and now it feels like I should because it's up 16%. Maybe we'll discuss it in tomorrow's episode to look at the aftermath of what happened because that's always a possibility. But um, I did make a call on Stellar saying that it was going to break up fairly high because of how undervalued it was and it seems like it's finally deciding to do that. Um, so more specifically to jump into the uh, old coins, let's talk about XRP because XRP is taking some major, major leaps and bounds. I, I compared this to not doing something it hasn't done in years. And I want to compare exactly what that is and what I'm referring to. So check this out, guys. So clearly you guys are aware that there is a massive horizontal resistance that cuts through this coin. I'm going to draw this here. I'm going to delete it later, but you can see this is a red you know, horizontal resistance that has been cutting through this coin ever since it was added to Bitfinex's exchange uh, all the way back in 2017. Now you notice still, this was the year's mark. This whole uh, volume and movement right here is a year's confirmation. Notice that we have been trading above here from 2017 all the way down to 2019. So in the time span of two years, we have been trending above this support and we've been using it as a means of breaking higher and breaking bullish as a means of holding us above resistance and finally, you know, allowing us to make major leaps and gains. Notice how back in the past, every time we tested this line, it helped us gain major volume for major percentage gains. So you can see if we just go into the price range, even a small leap like this is 30%. Even bigger, this is a 60%. And we're not going to consider this to be um, back in previous times, this major rally all the way here, all the way up to, you know, $3.30. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I highly you know, doubt that this is going to happen again in regards to XRP's current breakout to the upside, but it is still a possibility that we could be breaking up with significant movement. Even a 60% or 30% gain is still a possibility. Notice that if we zoom back all the way to the weekly right now and we zoom into the daily, just so we can get a better view of where the market is trending, you'll notice a couple of things now. So as I zoom in, you'll notice where exactly the price has been trending. It's been within some sort of channel here, trending within its high level. 
MMA, hitting resistance numerous times and eventually getting enough volume to break through it. And every time since then, we've had very, very, very little um, issues breaking lower. You know, we've always been trending above it. Notice how we're still within the same channel where we saw it previously three years ago. Notice how we're getting even closer now in regards to support. So, you know, with the way the prices are moving, with the way the current price and uh, charting is going, I want you guys to pay a little closer attention. Notice a couple of things. I mean, the MACD looks okay. The fact that we're a little overextended on the blue band on the MACD is something to be, it, it's okay. But notice we're hitting another resistance once again. We're hitting resistance up here. Now, I've been making a couple bearish videos in the past in regards to the fact that this could break bearish once again and eventually retest here. But even if we do break bearish in the short term, even if we do in this ascending triangle decide to break bearish, there is a major chance we are going to swing back up, retest this and break through with significant volume behind it. Now, before I continue the XRP analysis, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Bitmins. As you guys know, or if you haven't yet discovered Bitmins, guys, Bitmins is an awesome company and they do great work in regards to digital collectibles in regards to being based off of blockchain technology as you guys can see here bitmins is the first full digital status symbol based on blockchain technology represented as a digital diamond every bitmin is unique because you generate it on the basis of your personal data it can be bought sold gifted its value increases over time like every traditional luxury item for the most part um, in the future you'll wear it without any risks of death things like that um, as well as the fact that it is pretty much a game changer. They're making virtual, you know, virtual digital collectible items, which is interesting. Like if you think about baseball cards or the original baseball cards, you know, once you had them, Yes, they can be stolen, but they go up in value. Now they're turning, imagine if they made digital baseball cards and the fact that, you know, once it's printed on blockchain technology, that's it. You know, if you have that card, that's one of the only or select few cards that have ever been in existence. So in regards, it will go up in value. So similar enough, I've partnered with them ever since uh, February and I had a ton of you guys get involved with them. Now check out the first link in the description if you want to decide to collect some Bitmins. I think it's absolutely awesome or just a small token, something to hold on to and watch it grow in value over time because it starts off at $10 per Bitmin. So you know, I want to show you guys where my $10 investment is currently in regards to some of the other crypto um, investments. So as you guys can see here, uh, I did load up my Bitmins. You can see it's as simple as clicking on my Bitmins. I actually own 20 of them and I bought them at $10. Remember, at $10, I had Bitmins back in February of 2019. It's been a couple of months now and notice the percentage gain on each coin. It's absolutely mind blowing. I mean, on each diamond, it's mind blowing. 1100%, 900%, 700%, 1200% gain, 800%, 900%, 1500% gain, or 1100% gain. Absolutely massive. This is 127 euros, 107 euros, and I got them at 10 euros. So that is a substantial amount. Very easy to sell them. You literally click here, click sell, and you can collect your cryptocurrency. It's so, 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 or you can collect your uh, euros or US dollars, and then you can, I believe it gets deposited in your PayPal or something like that. Um, I haven't yet sold them only because I'm collecting onto them, but I highly recommend you check them out because they're extremely valuable in the fact that they keep going up over time. I'll be making another video soon in regards to them being you know, accepted on the uh, Apple Watch. You can actually display them there. So it's pretty freaking awesome. Highly recommend you check them out. Once again, huge shout out to Bitmins for sponsoring today's episode. Otherwise, let's continue on with the XRP analysis. So you'll notice where exactly we are with XRP hitting resistance up here at 30 cents. And the fact that we are using this SE support, we're we're getting so close guys in the fact that we're not going to probably see a major breakout this very second but we're going to see consolidation obviously we could see that retracement back lower until we hit around november 11th november 11th is in six days so we have about less than a week before we see any sort of major volatility and volume come to xrp and the rest of the market now i do think that xrp is intertwined with bitcoin you'll notice this is bitcoin and this one is xrp notice they are very similar in terms of charting and i want to compare Compare Bitcoin's charting to XRP in regards to the fact that maybe if Bitcoin decides to be the oversold, you know, the overholding factor to XRP's movement, we have to consider this in regards to plays. So yesterday, in regards to major moves, um, we were tracking this on the four-hour. Some very 
interesting things did actually happen. Not only are we looking for potentially a bearish divergence, right, or sorry, a bearish cross on the MACD, we're starting to see retracement lower. Um, yesterday, we saw a major breakout to the upside. Major one, I was extremely nervous in regards to potentially having my technical analysis be wrong, number one, and in regards to I'm shorting this cryptocurrency on Dudex. Obviously, check out Dudex if you wanna be able to short crypto. And the fact that we were breaking up to around $9,600 is where I kind of bought the crypto back here. So I am anticipating this to head lower. I'm very happy and reluctant that we came all the way back down from the $9,600 position all the way back down to as low as $9,100 we came down to, but I consider us to be going lower. Notice that this is a bearish fractal. I know a lot of um, other people are considering this to be more of a descending triangle, but I consider this a bearish fractal in regards to the sense that we've been seeing bearish fractals in the past, and there's a good chance we're going to continue to head lower. So my you know, potential thought is that for the next maybe month, we're going to see, or not even month, you know, this this bearish fractal is still within November, about two weeks, I'm considering this coin to continue to trade lower. And I'm going to anticipate some sort of break to the downside. You'll notice um, when we've usually tested this sideways here, we tend to fall. When we test sideways, we fall. When we hit sideways, we fall. So the fact that we're finally hitting this over here, there's a chance we're going to break lower and, and retrace and correct lower before trading all the way outwards, eventually seeing that major breakout. So just in case this major ascending triangle breaks bearish in the short term follows Bitcoin's path. Once we hit here, we're going to, and once we hit oversold on Bitcoin's four hour, there's a major opportunity for a massive explosion within volume, which should immediately retrace and send XRP up to extremely high levels. So my main focus right now is on Bitcoin. I mean, Ethereum looks great right now, seeing consolidation. Uh, Litecoin did just break out, but it is now hitting the overbought area. So it's, it's merely riding on XRP and Bitcoin for in regards to where we're going to see potential cryptos move to. So I'm paying very close attention to Bitcoin. Obviously, if you guys are interested in investing in XRP's major ascending triangle, I'd personally stray away for this moment in time, mainly because this is a 50-50 shot you're going to make some money on here. More so, wait for a confirmation. If we can see a candle close above the resistance, the major resistance, there is a good chance we can profit off of here. If we decide to break below it, that's when we can consider shorting this crypto and selling it off major uh, at, at major lows. Now consider if XRP does decide to break lower, that's mainly because Bitcoin is heading lower and we can short this on Dudex, which is awesome. So definitely check that out. Um, like I said, XRP has not yet broken this major resistance in years, it's been three years, guys, which means there's a lot riding on this coin to break above this resistance. You can see where that green band is right now, where the price is currently. We've tested this so many times, and when we finally got enough volume to break through it, we skyrocketed. So the fact that we're now below an extremely strong resistance gives us you know, two options. We either break bearish short term and retest it again indefinitely, or we get enough volume to explode through here, immediately retracing all the way up to easily 40 cents, if not higher, which is a percentage gain of potentially around 38 percent, which is still huge. You know, from 30 cents to 41 cents, that is a an, an amazing gain on a crypto. So highly recommend you check that out, guys. Huge things are coming for this crypto. So pay very close attention to XRP as well as Bitcoin, because there is a good chance it will make us a lot of money. That is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Like I said, huge shout out to today's sponsor, Bitmins. Uh, definitely check them out for a link in the description. More videos to come on Bitmins in regards to going in more descriptive. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to a post notification leave a giant thumbs up remember make sure to subscribe and comment down below that you've subscribed this way i know you want to take part in friday's giveaway for 25 dollars of free bitcoin peace